Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo 7 and I am back with a new track guide for this week's Daily Race C at Le Mans in Group 2. Now we have already done a guide in the Mercedes a long time ago that was on a different BOP I think so it's not really re very reliable. We've done this in the Nissan GTR this time because this is the fastest car if you're in clean air. Now, if you're racing from the back of the grid, you may want to use a CLK, which will give you a bit better overtaking opportunities. But over a lap, this is the car that will give you the best lap time. Um, hopefully we can help you out. If you do enjoy this video and it does help you improve your lap time, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comment section how it's helped you out. But let's get onto this guide and see if we can help you go a little bit faster at Le Mans in group two with racing medium tires on, BOP on, and default setup. No setups allowed in sport mode. So. Into turn one, we are going to be looking for the kink in this corner. So as you're coming through here, you're not going to go too far wide. You want to stay to the curb. And you see, I use a lot of curb. And as soon as the car is straightened up, we are on the brakes. You can see instantly as soon as we're straightened up and before the total board on the right, we're straightening it up and on the brakes, down into second gear. And you're going to take a lot of the curb off on the chicanes at this track. So you're going to see, look at the curb on the right-hand side. You will notice that as long as your right-hand tire is on the curb you shouldn't get a penalty keep your right hand tire on the curb again and the same for this corner here left hand tire on the curb how quentin's doing in front of us you should again avoid getting a penalty so that's how you can avoid getting penalties in the chicanes it seems to work at the majority of the chicanes as well so again powering our way through here and again as soon as the car's turned through this corner and starting to straighten up again that's what i use as a reference for getting on the brake so we're straightened up now onto the brakes, nice and early. Better to be early than run wide here because of the camber on the corner. So trail brake into the corner, get the car up to the curb, back on the throttle as early as you can. You want to carry momentum out of this corner. Using the curb on the right, use a bit of curb on the left, be careful you don't run wide there. And now into this tricky right hand corner. This is quite easy in the GTR though. You can throw it in, in fifth gear. You can see tiniest bit of braking input there. Tiny lift off the throttle at the same time, then back on the throttle maximum. You can see before we're getting into the apex here, now we're back on the throttle. And again, left hand tire on that curb, you should be okay. As long as you don't go all the way over the curb, then you won't get a penalty. Again, you can see it, don't run wide on the exit and carry the speed all the way on this straight up into the next braking zone. We're going to fast forward this because you don't need to watch this part. And then into the braking zone, you see we're going to break before the 100 board this time on the left hand side there. Again, going from a reasonably wide angle here onto the brakes, trail brake into the corner a little bit once you start reducing the speed. And again, you're going to take a lot of the curb off here. You can see you can really attack the curb. So again, right hand tire onto the right hand side of the curb, left hand tire keep it on the curb again. If you go too far wide, you will get a penalty if you go over the curb too much. And again, little dab of the brakes as we come off the curb, just to settle the car down, slow it down a little bit, then back onto the throttle to really take advantage of that curb. And an early upshift to third gear there to get a little bit more momentum out of the exit and just be careful your left hand tire doesn't go too far over the white line there because you can pick up a penalty running a little bit wide there. Now we're gonna go up into the next braking zone and again, we're using the 100 board. You can see it on the left and the right hand side. I always use the right hand one that's it's a little bit easier to spot. And we're braking just before that. So onto the brakes here, just pretty much level or just before. In the race, you're gonna break a little bit short of that because pushing it with slipstream is a bit dangerous. But in general, in time trial, you can pretty much break on the 100 board. So now again, we're gonna attack this apex. You can see getting over the curb with the left hand tire. And again, as long as your left hand tire is on that curb, you shouldn't get a penalty. So again, onto the throttle here and use the curb on the right hand side. And again, be careful on this exit. Your right hand tire has got to be careful. It doesn't go over the white line. If it does, that's where you can easily pick up a penalty. Again, fast forward up into the next braking zone for the heavy hairpin braking here. And you're going to break, you're going to see it here. The end of the board there is pretty much your braking reference, but I also use the kink in the corner. You can see that little kink there. I just make sure I brake before that. That's what I use as a reference because the boards on the left can sometimes be unsighted by cars. So I tend to use the kink in the corner. Again, down to first gear, and then we're going to get back up to second gear before we get on that power. So you're going to say, watch in here, trail brake, trail brake, back onto the throttle now and up into second gear for the exit of this corner. Maybe using a bit too much kerb. I probably should have came from a slightly wider angle. Unsettles the car a little bit there. Loses a tenth or two maybe on the acceleration all the way out the exit. So a couple of tenths lost there just through using a bit too much kerb. 
and now into this next corner which is a really fast paced corner we're going to attack this in sixth gear but we're going to downshift as we're on the apex so a little bit of braking inputs going in just as we're on the middle pretty much of the curb on the right hand side right on the apex so braking inputs going in now we're slowing the car down keeping the car to the right in a straight line for the braking and then we're going to turn in at the end of this curb using that as a reference to start turning the car in and try and get this car into the apex onto the throttle before the on the middle part of the apex to get as much speed out the exit as possible it's all about getting that momentum out of that corner and now 50 board on the left hand side is what i use as a reference braking just short of that you don't want to brake on it you'll be way too late if you're braking on the 50 i use the 50 board to make sure i'm braking short of that and again down to first gear but back up to second gear before we get on the throttle so as we come through here downshift to first let the rotation happen then up to second gear and then power your way out the corner use some of the curb on the left get a bit of momentum and again now we're going into this really fast corner which in this guy's very close to taking it almost flat you can see just a little bit of braking input going in here before the end of the green astro on the left you're not going to be aggressive on the brakes you just want to dab that brake let the car rotate in you see about 50 percent braking going in here and now we're going to come off that brake trail brake and then back onto the throttle before with the curb on the right hand side you want to be really early on that throttle because you want to carry the speed through this corner because this downforce on the gtr is really high so this is completely flat out now this corner here be careful you don't take too much curb it can unsettle the car you can see a little lift off the throttle i gave there and then completely back on now we're going to get on the brakes as soon as we get in the closest white line on the right side onto the brakes and you can see i'm going to hug the inside here keeping it nice and tight just constantly putting a bit of braking and now the grips there onto the throttle and chucking it in before the rmc board onto the brakes again and you're going to chuck that car in to this left hand corner you want to get the left hand tire onto the curb so left hand tire on the curb on the throttle nice and early use some of the curb on the exit just be careful again you don't run wide that's an easy place to pick up a penalty and now we're going into the next braking zone which again I use this pit entry as a reference, braking pretty much in the middle of the pit entries before the end there. You can see the little triangle. Make sure you're braking before that. If you're braking on that, it can be a little bit sketchy going into this chicane. So now we're in third gear, trail braking in and left hand tire again, aim to get over them sausage, yellow sausage curbs. Again, right hand tire over the sausage curbs if you can, rotating it in, down to second gear and again, braking input going in as soon as we're pretty much straight line there. And now you've got to be careful with the braking. See, we're not going too far wide. We're going to attack this curb. Um, we're coming off the brakes and then we're going to go back on the throttle but not too aggressively because we don't want to unsettle the car so as we come to the curbs you're going to see we're attacking this one again you're going to see the throttle inputs off the throttle briefly and then back on the throttle for when the car lands and then power your way over the finishing line for a three minutes 36 zero a reasonable lap it's currently in the top 10 it's not an amazing lap there's definitely four attempts or half seconds come off that we did this lap after about 10 hours of streaming yesterday so a lot of times to gain so let's watch this lap again from the chase camera and you can really see these track limits from this view you can see the advantage you gain and how much you can take off so again into this corner right hand tire use the curb left hand tire still on the curb that is the key to this lap making sure your tires are on the curbs at most times if you go over them then you can easily pick up penalties so again into this corner trying to get the momentum through here using all the track as much as possible you can see almost clipping that bollard there full width for the track in this corner again left hand tire still on the curb and that's how you get away with it and just keep the right hand tire on the curb on the exit there now powering our way down the straight this is a fairly simple bit but we want to point something out as well you need to be careful with the track limits um if you go over if you keep your eye on the left line on that i'm to the left of my car now the dotted line if you get your right hand tire over that on entry into the corner for the chicane you can pick up a penalty so make sure your left hand tire stay you can go left hand tire over it but right hand tire cannot go over that white line on the left on the entry that if you do that you very often can pick up a penalty very easily so just be cautious of that track limit there it did used to catch me out quite a lot in group one because i used to try and widen the line in same thing for this straight as well the white line on the right hand side the dotted line that is the edge of the track so right hand tire can go over it on entry but your left hand tire cannot go over that line. If it does, you can pick up a penalty as you come out of the exit. So just bear that in mind for this corner. And again, you can see track limits, right hand tire on the curb still, left hand tire on the curb still. And again, just be careful on that one. I was very close to picking up a penalty on the right hand tire there where it went over the white line. But I think because we took it quite late before it went over, you don't get the penalty. It depends how early your tire gets over the white line. That's what seems to click into that um, um, feed the penalty coming into the game there so just be cautious on that one now into the next braking zone again you can see as soon as that kink in the corner brake 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 rotate 
a little bit early, you saw, hit the kerb, unsettled the car, you can even see it on the traction, a little bit unsettled there, but still got a reasonable exit out of that corner. Now this is completely flat out, this is where you're going to get a lot of your overtaking done this week on Daily Race C. In the slipstream, this is the best place to line your move up as well because this is where you get ahead and then it's very hard for another car to get back past you because the next straight isn't quite long enough normally if you get a good exit. So try and get your moves done on this straight and then you've got these corners which are really difficult to overtake on. Just be careful the car behind doesn't punt you. It's very often the case they miss the break in and you end up in that gravel. So again, using the 50 board, again, you can see here, rotating the car in, upshift the second gear, get that throttle down. Just be careful you don't run into the barrier on the left. It's easily done, but we get that done quite nicely now and then powering our way up into this really aggressive fast section. This section is where the GTR shines. The CLK really struggles through here. If you're using the CLK, you will need to take this a lot easier through this section. And this is where the GTR can actually overtake the CLK. So if you can line the car up to the left hand side here, get it nice and tight to this curve, and then go a little bit wider through here, you can actually go completely round the CLK because the CLK doesn't have the downforce there. But again, you can see track limits, left hand tire, as long as it doesn't go up towards that white line, you should be okay. You can go over on your right hand tire, but left hand tire needs to stay within the white line. If it goes over, you're gonna pick up a penalty. Again, through here, you can see attacking the curbs, attacking the curb, again, attack the curb as much as you can. I could probably took a little bit more speed through there, but being a little bit cautious because we're on an okay lap and a pretty solid run. So yeah, if you enjoyed that video, if it helps you out, subscribe to the channel. I do do these as much as possible, including the 2 million track guides for the 2 million credits that are on every two weeks. We do them every single time. And yeah, we also live stream every single day. So subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you again for more content. Thanks again for watching, everyone.